Good morning, welcome to DNARC 12, the new conversation. Uh, we hope you find a nice place to sit at home and have prepared your favorite beverage. Um, I'm Patrick Busman, this is Moritz Frenzel, and we're going to run you through the newcomer introductions for a couple of seconds. So, again, my name is Patrick Busman. I'm the chairman of the uh, board of DNOC Foundation. Uh, I'm 36 years old and live close to Munich. Um, in my day life, I run global product management for network technology at Akamai Technologies. Um, with me, I have Moritz Frenzel, who's also a board member of DNOC Foundation and is the head of our program committee. He's uh, 26 and actually, I think, from Munich today. Yeah, I should have updated those slides a while ago. <laughs> I lived in Stuttgart now in Munich. Um, in his day life, he's a senior ar uh, network architect at Annexia. So we're going to run you through a couple of things. If you have questions, you find the chat on the right side. Um, please type in your questions there. We will answer them at the end. So quick introduction to the multiple personalities of DNOG. Um, DNOG Foundation, which is in German called the DNOG EV, is a non-profit organization whose goal it is to improve the quality and security of the internet at large with a focus on Germany. Uh, DNOG EV aims to support research, science and education by running a yearly conference, hosting local meetups, providing information on best practice and their implementation, running a forum to discuss current developments of the Internet, supporting research with knowledge, contacts, and infrastructure. Uh, today, DNOC Foundation has about 216 members. Uh, we offer memberships to individuals and to legal bodies, um, as an example, companies. Uh, the legal body is running the conference, and if you want, you can become a member at any point. Uh, the yearly membership fee is about 30 euros. And with that, I would hand it over to Moritz, who's going to run you through the rest. Okay, so as Patrick mentioned, uh, DNOC has multiple personalities, and one of them is the DNOC as a association or a collection of people. It's a community uh, of network professionals, um, and everyone here is welcome. We are completely inclusive. I will go more into detail about this in a second. Uh, many of us plan, build, run or research networks from small to large, but as mentioned, everyone is welcome. Um, we're a forum where everyone can discuss current matters uh, that are uh, currently going on, on uh, in the Internet, new technologies, um, new political uh, developments, anything you'd like. Uh, mainly DNOC lives uh, in the hash DNOC channel on uh, IRCnet. We will get there in a second. And uh, we also have a mailing list available uh, on our website. Uh, it's at lists.dnoc.de. So then again, next personality, DNOC 12. DNOC 12 is this year's and obviously the 12th edition of our annual conference. Uh, it features a selection of talks and workshops. You might have participated in them yesterday as well. Um, and it's completely run by volunteers. No one here is getting paid. Um, all costs we have, um, be it the equipment, the server infrastructure to run the live stream, uh, everything we have here is cov covered either by your voluntary entrance fees, which you could have uh, submitted uh, once you, uh, where you clicked your ticket, and thank you to all who have done so already. Uh, those are roughly 20% of the costs right now, and as well as uh, to all our sponsors, which you will see uh, during the whole event. Um, normally, when we were running a physical conference, we would have a rather 30-70 split. We have an official social event tonight at 7 p.m. Um, you can just click the social tab on the left. Patrick will go into uh, more detail about this in the uh, introduction to Venulus following this talk. And yeah, as Patrick mentioned, I'm also chairing the program committee and uh, my team and I are uh, selecting quite a big uh, development of talks and uh, workshops. Um, we are running uh, yeah, a whole selection pro uh, process on them, reviewing all the talks, making sure the speakers feel safe and warm, and you will meet some of my colleagues uh, and uh, uh, during the next days uh, where we're, they will be heralding the session. Uh, all talks you will see today are streamed as obvious and also recorded. And next year's conference, DNOC 13, will, hopefully if the situation allows, uh, take place in Hamburg. 
Then there are DNOC meetups. Uh, DNOC meetups are more or less a smaller version of the conference in a local community. For example, we had uh, one so far that happened in Berlin. Uh, they feature a very small subset, uh, maybe two to three talks and food and drinks thereafter, and are focused on bringing people together to, f uh, to discuss, to meet and uh, to exchange ideas. When we are hosting meetup, meetups don't have any entrance fee and the venue finger food and drinks are sponsored by a local host. We would love support from local communities, so if this is interesting to you or your company, uh, do not hesitate to get in touch and we will hopefully make a meetup happen once the situation as, uh, again allows it. Also, we'll set, a, uh, set up virtual meetups in the coming year uh, until we can finally meet in person again. Then, as mentioned, there is the IRC. Uh, in the IRC, you can chat daily with uh, many members of our community. They are uh, from all around the world, from uh, companies from small to big, and you can find a list of all our chatters in the so-called chatter list on our website, where you can find names, affiliations, and everything. Uh, if you have never used IRC before, you can use webchat.ircnet.net uh, or you can just uh, connect as stated here below. You can find the slides online as well after uh, the presentation. Then, as mentioned, there's our mailing list. Uh, our mailing list is used for a more, not formal, but a more uh, extensive way of communicating and discussing. Um, you can there maybe discuss any technological ideas, uh, ask questions on how people would uh, approach a given topic or how they are currently doing it. Or you could also um, ask for a contact, for example, if you don't uh, have an issue with m the network I'm running, you can just ask, hey, is there someone from Anexia around? And I'm sure someone will reach out. And this will also go from networks from very small uh, to very big. So we also have the big eyeball customer uh, carriers in Germany present in our uh, on our mailing list. Um, there's also a separate mailing list for members of the DNOC EV where they can discuss uh, matters of the association uh, should they wish to do so. Uh, on all mailing lists, you will find the uh, announcements for the conference, for meetups, and it's never a mistake to subscribe there. So, for well-being. Um, as mentioned before, DNOC is, as a whole, regardless of the personality, a welcoming and inclusive community. We're open for everyone, regardless of gender, gender identity, expression, age, sexual orientation, disability, physical appearance, body size, race, ethnicity, religion, or lack thereof or technology or business choices or decisions. In the latter one, so technology and business choi the choices, it's okay to professionally disagree, but never get personal. Please be excellent to each other so that we don't have to create more rules. We try to keep this as low uh, on rules as possible. If you should feel unsafe or threatened, Please do not hesitate to reach out to any of our board members. You can either reach us at vorstand.denok.de or you can reach all of us on our personal emails uh, as listed below. That's it for the newcomers introduction. I'm hoping we're having quite a lot of questions and would like to bring back uh, Patrick, who hopefully brought me some questions. Still no questions. Hello again. So I don't see any questions so far, but we can have a quick look. Well, uh, I think I've mentioned the recordings. Um, Again, there's also the GitHub page uh, on github.com slash denox slash media where you can find an archive of all conferences and where you can see all the slides from previous or current conferen conferences. There is a feedback uh, back button. Good question, Stefan. Um, we will go into detail about this as well. But if you are participating uh, or listening to a uh, talk or you have participated in a workshop, uh, just go to the agenda, click on the respective talk, and there you will find a feedback button uh, where you can give anonymous feedback to the speaker. As mentioned before, please be polite and inclusive about this and do not hesitate to leave the speakers your feedback. It helps us make a better selection for DNOC and helps the speaker improve their presentation should there be anything to improve. 
So there was one question and discussion earlier in the chat. Um, people were asking where we got the hoodies from. Uh, this is a uh, well-kept secret inside the DNOG organizing committee. Um, everyone who organizes the conference since last year gets a hoodie. So if you want to have a hoodie, be part of the organizing committee and you can find more information about that in the break slides, uh, how you can join and help with next year. Um, good. And with that, if we don't have any other questions, I think we take a quick break and we'll back with the venueless introduction at 11. Thank you very much. See you in a bit. Thank you. <laughs>